Hey kiddos, today we are going to be working with proportions from a word problem. So let's tackle this right off. I'm going to set up my proportion. Pam drove her car 99 miles and used 9 gallons of fuel. So math, math. She wants to know how many miles, how many miles can she get on 12 gallons of fuel? So on the left side, we're going to put the things that go together. So 99 miles, so we're going to have miles, I don't like this marker, we're going to change it out right now. 99 miles to 9 gallons, so we're going to have miles to gallons. Okay, not liking that one either. All right. Now. The top is miles, the bottom is gallons. What are we given here? We're given the gallons, so we have 12. So we're missing this piece. Now we get to solve this. So we've done proportions, so now we actually have to solve our means and our extremes. So we have 9 times x, so 9 times x equals 99 times 12. Okay, so we know that number and letter shoved together. So that's 9x. And then we just do the math, 99 times 12. And we're going to get 1,188. And then we know we have to, I'm going to run into this problem, but you obviously aren't going to. You're going to write small enough so it fits. I can just erase it. We're going to divide by the number that is touching the letter. So now we're going to take 1,188. We're going to divide it by 9. And we're going to get x equals 132 to remember how, what we're labeling it. So it's 132 miles is what we're missing. All right, so now I'm gonna guess get rid of this part. You guys would obviously keep it. You wouldn't run into the problem. And we're gonna move on to the next problem. A car travels 120 miles in three hours at a constant speed. How far will it take to travel 200 miles? So now we have to uh, look at the important pieces. So a car travels 120 miles in three hours at a constant speed. How far will it take to travel 200 miles? Okay. So, so how we should change that to how long? My bad on that. So we have miles to hours. So we have 120 miles and three hours go together. And we were given the 200 miles for X hours. So now we have a proportion to solve. So we have 120 times X equals three times 200. The diagonals, number and letter shoved together, 120 X equals 600. Divide by the 120, divide by the 120. So we got 600 divided by 120. So we get x equals 5. And we're looking for how long. So that's 5 hours. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to erase that part. Oh, I don't even know if you saw that. Hold on. That's what it looked like. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of that so we can see our next problem. So in this next question, it takes Mikey 18 minutes to finish reading four pages of a book. How long does it take him to finish reading 30 pages? So we have 18 minutes to four pages. How long for 30 pages? So we're looking at minutes to pages here. So we have 18 to four. Those two go together. And we were given pages on this one. So we are missing the top piece. So we do our proportion. 4 times x equals 18 times 30. Let number and letter shove together. And then we have 30 times the 18 for the 540. We're going to divide by the 4. And we get x equals 135. Now, x equaling 135 is 
minutes because we're looking for how long. Okay, now remember you're writing small enough so you don't run into the next problem. I'm going to erase this part so we can see the last question. 13 candy bars weigh 26 ounces. So 13 candy bars, 26 ounces. What is the weight of 35 candy bars? So we're going to go candy to ounces. So we have 13 to 26. And we want to know what weight. So we don't know the ounces, but we know the candy bars. So here we go. 13 times X equals 26 times 35. We do the math there. 26 times 35 will be 910. Number and letter shoved together. And we're going to divide by 13. Divide by the 13. So 910 divided by 13 is 70. So 70 equals the X. And that would be ounces because we're looking for the weight of those. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I love math and math.